Hey guys, it's Medicosis Perfectionellus one more time continuing our discussion about pulmonology, the wonder world of the lung. In the previous two videos, we have talked about clinically oriented anatomy of the thorax and we have mentioned briefly the lymph nodes. Today, we'll go deeper. The vercose or vercose node. People say it vercose, but the actual correct pronunciation is vercose node. It's also known as the left supraclavicular lymph node. With that being said, now let's get started. So from the previous videos, you have lymph from the entire right lung, go to the right tracheobronchial lymph node. But from the left lung, most of it goes to the left tracheobronchial, but the inferior lobes goes to the right tracheobronchial. Therefore, if you have tracheobronchial lymphadenopathy on the left, this is coming from the left lung. If you have it on the right, it's coming from the right lung or the inferior lobe of the left lung. If the primary tumor is the bronchogenic carcinoma, where do you find the secondary? Of course, we're gonna find lymph nodes, lymphadenopathy, and we'll find distance, distant blood metastasis to the brain, bone, lungs, and adrenals. Please don't ever forget the brain. Fercos node, left supraclavicular node here above the clavicle in the supraclavicular fossa, drains the abdominal cavity, and I will explain this later. So, let's say gastric cancer, so here is the stomach, all right, nice, here, and there is stomach cancer, it's gonna go to the Fercos node, aka left supraclavicular node, okay, we got it, so gastric cancer can go to the left supraclavicular, what else, ovarian cancer, to the left, how, what else? Testicular, lung, breast cancer can cause an enlarged, hard, painless Fercos note, and this is called Chosier sign, usually an abdominal malignancy. Cancer is painless. Let's talk about infection. Tuberculosis, sarcoidosis, toxoplasmosis can enlarge the lymph node and it's going to be painful. Cancer is painless, infection is painful, lymphoma is painless, tuberculosis is painful. If you find an enlarged Fercos node and an enlarged Sister Mary Joseph node, at the same time, think abdominal malignancy, such as gastric or pancreatic. And Sister Mary Joseph is going to be a nodule bulging forward to the umbilicus. Why does gastric cancer go to the left supraclavicular? Why does ovarian cancer, even the right ovary, go to the left supraclavicular or the right testicles? So here is the thing. We have most of your body drains into the thoracic duct. How? Except for this quarter. And this quarter drains into something called the right lymphatic duct. The right lymphatic duct will end into the right supraclavicular node. The thoracic duct is gonna end into Vercos node or left supraclavicular node. So if it's your stomach, it's in the green part, left. Ovaries, both of them, left. Pancreatic cancer, left supraclavicular, etc., 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 because this is the thoracic duct. Now let's make it difficult. How about left lung? And the answer is gonna be left supraclavicular. How about the right lung? The right lung is going to go to right subclavicular lymph node. But the inferior lobe of the left lung can also go to the right supraclavicular lymph node. But this right supraclavicular node is not called Fercos. Fercos is only the left side. Got it? Okay. You're struggling to learn about all of these crazy microorganisms, Mycoplasma, Legionella, Pseudomonas, Rhinovirus, Taph, Strep, etc. Please try Picmonic. They have excellent animated medical mnemonic. Please check the link in the description and you will never regret it. Trust me. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe and join the tribe. Hit the, get, hit the bell to get notified. Follow me on Facebook. I have more than 100 cases there. You can get all of these notes and you can download them and they are yours forever. Plus many other cases, many other tables and comparisons and all of high yield stuff. Patreon.com slash Medicosis. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be safe, stay happy and study hard. This is Medicosis Perfectionalis where medicine makes perfect sense.